Yo, what's good? You're 4 and 3 here back here today, and today, guys, we are finally getting around to our brand new player-owned business, Upgrade Heroes. This came out with the most recent update in Forza Horizon 4, which was, like, actually, like, mm, like, three weeks ago now? And, unfortunately, the big problem for me was that, uh, I was sick most of that time, had almost no voice, and when I could talk, I couldn't stop coughing. So we waited and waited and waited so that we could actually do this right, do this properly, have some fun with it, instead of going, <coughs> like, just, 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 like, terrible, terrible coughing, which that was a, that was a fake cough, people. That wasn't, like, some nasty-ass, uh, gross-ass cough. Like, it, it, it's supposed to be, make, it might sound a little real, but yeah, it, it, it's bad. It's bad. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into our brand. Oh, hell yeah, man. Take my money. Take my money. He's been I, I, to hear if you wanted the business. Yeah, I mean, like literally, I just, I just made that much off my businesses. Although I haven't done, um, I still don't own one of the businesses. I never got around to it. I probably should do that one of these days, maybe in a live stream or something. Ooh, hey, great to see you. That's not a dad, and that's Reno. I have a business idea here. There's loads of cars around here that have real potential. I call them upgrade heroes. You go get the car. We do the magic. Then show everyone what an upgrade hero can do. Sounds good. Good. Uh oh. And you get to drive the courtesy car. <laughs> Our courtesy car is a Renault Clio. Oh we shit, though. The whole of Horizon. That with a wee bit of an upgrade, any car can be a hero. Let's get to work. It's not that bad of a Renault Clio. Like, goddamn. This thing's actually pretty damn good gonna cut across this field because that's the way to go there we go uh, here's where we're supposed to make our very first pickup uh, are you nervous oh. uh, me? nope I'm not, not nervous. nervous at all not nervous at all but I can tell there's music in this which I always have mine turned off which means I gotta turn off the Five damn music so every fast. single freaking time oh but that's a Datsun Best of both worlds, really. got a good one to start a Datsun a client says it was the first car they ever owned, and they always dreamed of winning races in it. Or at least, you know, being able to overtake something. <laughs> I, I do love these Datsun 510s. They hey, are absolutely back. amazing cars. So, I mean, just... Oh, we gotta get it back without smashing it up. Okay, so that means that we gotta do some, uh... Do some actually good driving. Without... Hitting any cars or fences or anything like that. So here we go. We got our first challenge. Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's not that far away. Like, I mean, it's like literally like right over here. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm going to crash through a fence. I'm doing some damage. Not the way to go. We're in the snow. Oh, God. There's another fence. Ah. Oh, God. And another. Ooh. Oh god, we still got more fences. But we're not gonna damage it too bad, but we went across the snow instead of doing it the right way. Oh shit! We gotta park it! We're gonna fail this mission all because. Oh! Oh! Get up the hill! Get up the hill! <laughs> oh, we're gonna fail this all because. Excellent. All because I didn't realize we had to stop. I was like, oh, it's going to get us tar tagged out already. No. No, that didn't work out. Oh, it's a three-parter. Look at that. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Ta-da! What do you think? We've gone lower, wider, faster. Twin turbo inline six under the hood producing 337 horsepower. Oh, and does that nonsense we're strapped to the front too. <laughs> yeah, the intercooler looks pretty damn good. Oh my god, is it going to seriously do the music damn thing every single time? Oh! It's a little, uh, little snowy, little, uh, slidey, you know. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's take this thing for a joyride. I've heard a Datsun sound better than this before. Granted, it was, uh, very heavily modified. Very, very, very heavily modified. I think that actually dropped an LS engine into it. It was at a car show. It was, it was really freaking cool. And it's kind of what made me fall in love with this. Or, uh, I think Jay Leno. 
Jay Leno's got a pretty nice Datsun. That sounds really, really good, too. Uh, his is a pickup truck, though. So, yeah. All right, but anyway, though, we got to get there without crashing this bad boy too much. Cut across there. No brakes for us. Oh, man, we got 30 seconds to go a mile. Oh, man. Oh, man, good thing it's mostly straight. We're under specific instructions to be as loud and fast and conspicuous as possible as we go through the city. I think our client might have friends here. Oh, God, 600 yards. 10 seconds left. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Yes. Fantastic. Woo. Did you have fun? Well, yes, I did. That's three stars. Look at the back end, though. It's, like, still trying to, like, wobble out of control. Okay, so one of the things I just realized after completing that is each and every single time, we're going to win a damn car. Look at that. We got a Datsun 510 gets it to us right away. And as we progress, we are going to go ahead and get some more cars. I guess we'll go ahead and show you the final one. We're going to get a Koenigsegg Agira. That's pretty awesome, except for the fact that it means that I already have an Agira that I can't sell for anything. Oh, that hurts. That kind of hurts a little bit, but we're getting a second Agira. I don't know what on earth I'm going to do with it, because it's an Agira. There's not really much else that you can do with it. Maybe we'll do something fun. Maybe like a rally tune, like we'll turn it into an off-roader or something. But let's go ahead and take a look at our next chapter here. We've got chapter two, the Audi. 1986 Audi 2-Sport Quattro, a Group B legend with almost 500 brake horsepower and an aerodynamics overhaul. All right, so in order to get three stars, we need to do it in two minutes and 15 seconds, but you know what it is. These are three-parters, so the final challenge, whatever it is, we need to do two minutes and 15 seconds. But we got our Renault Clio ready to go. Kind of loud. I think it's a tractor passing. We've got clients lining up, so it's go time. The client is an old Audi to just putter around town in, but they've always wanted to go off-road. This is one after my own heart. Let's help him out. Yeah, I agree, man. If you got an Audi, make that sucker go off-road. It's exactly what you just need to do. Like, it is a fantastic little car. We're going the wrong way. So let's actually go the right way. We're going over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Oh my god, Christmas is around the corner. Jesus Christ, we got like Thanksgiving coming up, but man, oh, I'm not ready for Christmas. I just spent a bunch of money with my family coming down to come visit me, and now I got to go around and get them Christmas presents, and I got to figure out what the hell I'm going to get them. Oh, God, that's going to be the biggest challenge, because I got five family members I got to shop for, for one, and then I got two other close friends that I got to shop for, although one of them I haven't seen in like two years. So I may not actually go and get them a present. I don't know. Right, wait there. It'll be along in a minute. Ah, it's a Sport Quattro. An 83, I think. See, they stripped all the fun stuff out and sold a few of them as production cars, which is where this one must have come from. So it turns out the client doesn't just want to go off-road. They want to go off-road. Group B style. Well, so it wants to go, go group B style with this thing. Oh my god, I'm definitely gonna have to turn the radio like a uh, streamer mode on for this shit because it keeps on popping up every time I turn it off. But uh, yeah, so what kind of Christmas presents can we actually get my family? So we got my mom, got my dad, got my older brother who's kind of a nerd like myself. So he, he's usually pretty easy to shop for. I just normally go to Hot Topic and find whatever the hell I can find. Uh, my little brother's a little bit more tricky, but he's not too terribly hard. Uh, he is a chef, so mostly anything food-related. And my sister, well, she is like a... a In 400 yards. Let's just say, like, the biggest thing that she does, like, her favorite activity is watching Jeffree Star videos on YouTube. If you don't know who Jeffree Star is, consider yourself lucky. Cheers. The team can't wait. This thing was built for Group B rallying, which, as we know, was completely mad. But hey, we like mad. All done? You want to see it? No. It's got the trademark four-wheel drive system, which should help you handle the dirt. And we've bumped it up to 800 brake horsepower, which 
may not help, but oh, blame me. It'll be good fun. Eight <laughs> hundred? Oh my god! That's a shit ton of power, my dude. That is a shit ton of power. So where are we going? Where are we going? We need to go over the mountain. Is that where we're going? That's what it looks like we're going. As you see right there, our destination is on the other side of this mountain. So we're going to pull a little sneaky sneaky. We're going to drive up this mountainside. Because we do have 800 horsepower all-wheel drive quattro. And this thing is designed to, you know, go off-road. So instead of using the roads, we're going to go ahead and be sneaky sneaky. Although, granted, we're having a little bit of trouble because it is snowing at the moment. Snowing at the moment. Oh, that's not a good way to go. All right, anyway, let's turn around. We're going to use the road from here. We're going to go around this edge. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be this smarty pants. And then we're just going to jump off the side of the mountain. Whee! And this will get it. This will get us three stars. I have no doubt about it. I mean, look at that. It's literally just one more jump. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope the client doesn't mind a few scratches and dings. That's all I can say, but yeah, we made it down. Is that what they are? So, like... You, you guys know what the upgrade heroes are. It essentially means that they have a wide body kit or, or some kind of kit available for them. And every time you go into the auto show, you have the option of just putting the quick tune on. Where essentially it throws the wide body kit and d gives you all that sort of good stuff. Well, apparently, <laughs> that's what these tunes are. These are the quick tunes, which I never ever use because my tunes are better. So our next chapter is The Camino, El Camino, like the movie. Oh god, if you actually say like the movie, oh my god. Oh my god, that, that movie just came out. The car is way before its time. But a 1970s Chevrolet El Camino with a monstrous 7 liter supercharged engine and a breathtaking straight line performance. Yeah, because that's all it can do is basically drive in a straight line. But we have one minute to do whatever our challenge is. But let's go ahead and pick up our car. I didn't know the El Camino was a was an upgrade hero. I really didn't know that. Guess what? Our upgrade hero home kits have been flying off the shelves at the auto show. I figured you should get a royalty. And after all, it's your driving that sells them. Next client says they're already packing some serious American muscle, but they want to see if we can beef it up at all. Off you go. All right, so now we're going to go pick up The Camino, which I don't know if you guys noticed, like the name of the, uh, like the name of the car is El Camino, which simply means The Camino. I don't know what a Camino is. I, I really don't know. Uh, I, I, I just don't. But <laughs> instead of using Spanish on the, uh, on the actual challenge, like instead of saying The El Camino, which essentially would mean The 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 Camino, or the the camino not the 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 camino um they just said the camino kind of kind of interesting kind of some stupid talk in there you're there for the pickup good let's see what we've got ah. el camino super sport 454 454 cubic inches of engine what on earth did it want us to do with all right all right then challenge accepted my friend uh, uh, why is he, like, acting surprised about these cars? Wouldn't you think that, uh, wouldn't you think that the client would probably tell him what car it is that we're actually going to be getting our hands on? Like, wouldn't you think that'd be the case? Like, uh, the challenge is called The Camino, and I'm going to go pick up an El Camino. Like, you don't know what car we're going to get ahead of time. Are they just like, I've got an American muscle car. Can you go ahead and tune it? Is, is that what they're asking? That sounds dumb. Like, that, that'd be like calling my mechanic and be like, Hey, how much does an engine swap cost? I have pickup. 
and I want LS engine. Well, if you got a Ford, it, it's so hard to do that. You, it's a lot harder to put an LS engine in a Ford than putting an LS engine in a Chevy. Like, it's going to be so much cheaper. But here we go. going to like this one, but best prepare yourself. We chucked in a 7-liter supercharged V8. Makes over a 1,000 horsepower. I'm scared to even stand near it. A <laughs> thousand horsepower? In the we snow? To beef this thing up. Well, let me show this client we're not afraid of a little dairy. Okay, so we have to hit 100 miles an hour. Come on, buddy. There we go. 100 miles an hour off-road. Uh, we're going to fail this challenge because I'm going to hit a tree. Yeah, that's not a good idea right there. Uh, so we cannot go off-road. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get it, man. I get it. So I was reading online. A lot of people were saying that you have to cheat for number three. So I thought maybe going off-road was the way to cheat. So let, let's go ahead and take a look at the world map here really quickly. Let's see where we're going. So where we're going is there, and we gotta go do it in like a minute. Yeah, that actually seems like pretty much a straight shot. That, that is the best opportunity that we have, is to essentially drive on the road and do our damnedest. Because going off-road, this thing ain't gonna make it, because there's a lot of woods in the way. There is a lot of freaking woods in the way. Oh, man. Uh, probably shouldn't hit that car. We're already, like, stretched for time enough. That's probably not a good idea. But this thing's got a thousand horsepower. It's kind of hard to control. I mean, look at that. We're already getting really, really drifty. Oh, there we go. Stay above a, stay above a hundred. Oh, man. It's 160 already. Oh, my God. This thing is scary! Oh, yeah, we, we definitely can't hit those semi-trucks that eventually fling us off onto the, uh, fling us off the road. That's not a good thing to do. Oh, my God. I, I think I might have nightmares about this car. Oh, yeah. Cut a corner there. Oh, my God. We're not going to make it! No! We were two seconds behind. Oh, that's not good. Not good. 1.3 seconds behind. You guys know we got to redo it. We got to redo it. This time around, though, if we can, before we take off, I'm going to turn on the traction control. Because I think traction control will significantly help with this. Let's see if I can do so. I cannot do so. Wait, can I? Can I maybe? No. I cannot do so, so we're fucked. Just to beat this thing up. Well, make sure this client we're not afraid of a little dairy. So what do you mean by dairy, huh? Or, or, or is he trying to say a dare? Is like dairy like kind of slang for like a dare? Like do they call it a dairy over in the UK where it's a dare here in the US? Like I I, I don't know. Is that a thing? That's not good right there. We can't be hitting those walls. We got to do this perfect. This is going to be very, very close. That's all I can say. This is going to be very, very close. All right. Like, I'm trying to hit the brakes to do this, like, nice and easy. Oh, we're off-road again. Uh, that's probably going to slow us down. We might not win this one. Oh, my God. This thing is hard to drive. This thing is so hard to drive. Oh, this might end up being one of those challenges where we got to, like, zoom through and keep doing it until I finally find success. But, hey, we don't have a semi-truck there this time. But we got whatever that little dinky-ass thing is. What are you? A, a voxel? I think you're a voxel. Oh, you could have at least made this thing all-wheel drive. There's our semi-truck. Yep, that's the, we definitely won't pass it that way. Let's go back over here to the semi truck again, and we're gonna try. We're gonna do our little jump thing again that we did last time. 
by cutting this corner. Nope, that's not going to work. We got four seconds to get around this corner and complete it. Let's see. That gives us three, two, one, and another failure. Oh my god. Well, if we don't get it on this next go around, uh, you're probably going to see like a little. Uh, hey, we're, we're probably going to repeat this a couple times. Let's go ahead and do it again. I ain't afraid of no milk! Oh my god, I can't believe we finally did it! Oh dear god! Oh dear god! You guys might be asking, Gur, why did it take you a dozen times to pass this challenge? Well, let me tell you! It's a thousand horsepower, rear-wheel drive, El Camino, in the snow! Oh dear god! I hate my life. I hate my life. So our next challenge is the Mazda, a 1997 Mazda RX-7 with the complete Rocket Bunny kit and a low and aggressive stance to match. And it looks like this one is going to be all about drifting as we're going to have to get 80,000 points and whatever the challenge is going to be. Maybe we're going to be heading off to a drift zone. I don't know what we're going to be doing, but it'll be a lot of fun. That's all I know. You may have met this next client, actually. Rob Glenn. It runs Drift Club here at the festival. Anyway, says he's got a Mazda we can look at. And I think I know what he wants done with it. Okay, so this guy has told us that it's a Mazda and he knows what he wants it done with it because the guy is the leader of Drift Club. So let me tell you, if he acts surprised and goes, whoa! That's an RX-7. Wow, what a beaut. We already know he knows it's a Mazda. And he knows it's a wanting to be a drift car. Like, when it comes to Mazda drift cars, the RX-7 is pretty much the one. Like, I mean, I know that you have, like, MX-5s and an RX-8 maybe if you really want to go there. But it's pretty much the RX-7. Like, can we all agree on that? Am I right or am I right? So if he acts surprised, well, he, 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 I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I, I just don't get it. But here we go. We are at the destination. I don't see no Mazda around. So he's having one of his drift clubbers bring the car down. Bingo. RX-7. Totally reliable and maybe the best drift platform ever built. Get it down here. If it's the Mazda I think it is and he wants what I think he wants, this shouldn't be too hard. And we haven't even started fiddling yet. So, try to keep the back end on the road, eh? Uh, can I just say this? He went bingo, RX-7. And then all of a sudden he shut up and was like, If it's the Mazda, I think it is. It is the Mazda you think it is. Like, what on earth are you talking about, my dude? Like, you just said it's a Mazda RX-7. What? 
Sometimes, guys, they, they need better writers at uh, Playground Games. Like, if this is the kind of writing that we're going to get out of Fable, oh, man, we're in trouble. We are in so much trouble. But anyway, though, let's get this RX-7 back to him. We know exactly what this car is going to look like, and I absolutely am going to love it because I love the freaking RX-7. Absolutely love it. On the road again. I can't wait to get back on the road again. Hidden fences is a deadly sin, especially in a car this unreliable. Time for that. I'll get the team started. Right, are you ready to see Rob Glenn's new toy? It's a wide body drift conversion. Seriously, you and Rob are going to be the envy of everyone at Horizon Drift Club. Okay, so this is um. <laughs> This is a little bit of a bigger parter here. So we went and got the car, brought the car back. Oh wait, no, this is still the second part, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's right. Uh, no, no, this is third part. This is a four parter. Damn, this is a long one right here. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get to the destination. I mean, the thing is that like, this is supposed to be a drift car conversion. It's still a little underpowered in my opinion, but what can you do? Lovely view from the castle, isn't it? Enjoy. It's about to get a lot quicker and more sideways. It's quite a lovely view considering I own this castle. It's been like 15 million on it. The city. You should get those drift clubbers talking. Now the trick is not to stomp the throttle too hard. You have to feather it into the turn. Just my opinion. Ask Rob if you want the full lecture. Yeah, I I, I know how to drift, buddy. I know how to right. drift. Time to let that back end go. Okay, so it's it, it is drift driving. Oh my god. This thing is so slow. That's it. Keep going. We still got a finish line to get to, remember. Oh shit, we got a finish line to get to? Recalculating route. Oh, son of a bitch. In 100 yards. Oh, we're going to fail this. We're going to fail this shit. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we'll pass it. Turn right. Ah, no. Um, I need, like, a, a better traction here. I would... I would much rather prefer some, uh... No, well, actually, not really traction. I wish I had more power and more camber. Maybe this would actually work. Oh, there we go. We're gonna hit. Alright. And we're gonna hit our 80 here. There we go. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Like this, this car sucks. Like I mean, it's like you gotta do some serious shit for this well, one to work. Next time Rob Glenn corners me for a good long chat about the finer points of drifting, I'm telling him to call you. Car could have had more power. That's all I can say. Car could have had more power. That sucked. <laughs> that really, really sucked. So here we go. And this is going to be the last challenge, I think, for today. And it is the Chevrolet. I mean, isn't this the Chevrolet too? But anyway, a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air Classic looks like a modern underpinnings. Oh, wait, no. Classic look with modern underpinnings, a supercharger, and more than a... Oh, my God. Another thousand horsepower, and we have to, okay. This one's just a top speed deal. This one's just a top speed deal. We could probably do that, but goddamn, like I I use my Bel Air as a drift car with a thousand horsepower. A next climb fancies themselves a bit of a drag racer, but they never had the time or skill to put in the work under the hood. That's where you and I and the upgrade heroes come in. Man, it's always seeming like there's a goddamn train going off. Like, it, it's always just, like, hanging out here. But let's go pick up our Chevrolet Bel Air, which is apparently, like, the, the guy likes drag racing. Which, like, I... And he just never had the time to build a car, which I totally understand that, man. I totally understand that. Like, I've done, like, the... I, I'm starting to get to the point where it, it's just... Instead of working on a car, it'd be just cheaper for me to go ahead work some overtime 
so I can buy the parts and pay someone to do it. That That's kind of a sad life, too. That's kind of sad. But at, at the same time, though, it's like, yeah, that's, that's where I'm getting at. It, it, it would just be easier on me to go ahead and do that. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, don't lose it too bad. Oh, we, we, we didn't lose it too bad. I thought we were going to end up in that drain. I thought we were going to end up in that ditch over there. Because this Red Oak Cleo is fucking sweet! But, uh, anyway, 600 yards to go till we get our Bel Air. Not bad at all. Picking up a Chevy. You see it anywhere? 57 Chevy Bel Air. Oh, it is a thing of beauty. Do we have to drag race? Can't we just cruise in it for a bit? I mean, that's essentially what I'm going to do because this is going to be a long drive back. Oh, God. Look at that. Zero to 60, and I don't know how fast. We're not even at 60 yet. There we go. Oh, man. This is going to be a long, long drive. 80, 90. Okay, maybe not so long, but we're already at 90. We're at 100. Only in second gear. I wonder, like, wouldn't it be nice if we, like, somehow, like, hit our challenge, like, on the way there? And they're like, oh, yeah, there you go, you hit your challenge. You don't gotta actually do the upgrade, here's your car. Like, wouldn't that be nice? But no. We're driving it back, and then I bet you we'll probably have, like, some kind of route to go to. And we'll have to drive this car, and we'll have to hit 185 miles an hour. Which, if it's a drag race event and we have to hit 185, oh god, I'm going to be pissed. Because I'll probably have to do this again, quite possibly, so that I can put on traction control. That way we can get off the line. Oh, that's going to suck if I forgot to do that. Oh god. Because honestly, use traction control with the El Camino. We don't know what this challenge is yet, but it could be bad. It could be very, very bad. All right, here we are at our destination, though. Let's go ahead and park up and get on into it. Let's get a team to work here. They're all finished. Prepare to feast your eyes and your ears. We lowered the ride and put in a seven-liter supercharged engine. This thing will destroy just about anything off the line, and it'll look gorgeous doing it. Will it now? So now where are we going with our drag car? I'll set you a route. It's um, more or less straight. So yep, I'm guessing we're going to the. Uh... Oh no, we're not. I thought maybe we were heading towards the uh, towards the freeway. But remember now, I'm in an all or a rear wheel drive. Oh, it's a it's a speed zone. That's what it is. It's a speed zone. We have to get 185 through the speed zone. It's not just like, oh, once you hit the speed, you're done. Nope, we got a speed zone. Or not a speed zone, the speed trap. Take the first exit. Forgot roundabout. We need to go through the trees on this one. Ow! All right, so we need to take this corner a little. Uh, a little bit more carefully. It's telling us to break all the way through here. I'm just going to let off the gas. Hit the gas again. Speed trap dead ahead. Put your foot down and smile. 200 yards. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. That was my fault. We did not make it though. We could probably make it on a second go. Let's just go ahead and do it. I know. Just. That was too much talking, man. Honestly, they need to have that B button show up a little quicker. So that I can just go ahead and restart it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for more or less straight. You put drag tires on a thousand horsepower Bel Air in winter. It's not as bad as the El Camino, though. Because at least this has got some weight over the rear end instead of, like, the El Camino, which is just a damn truck bed. Ugh. I don't know if you guys can sense the frustration in my voice. None of this part actually matters. Just as long as we get there on time. Ah, goddammit, I lost it. Alright, yeah, this time we're gonna make it and go well beyond. 
That's 196. We made it that time. No problem whatsoever. So anyway, though, that's where we're going to wrap things up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash group 13 and instagram.com forward slash group 13 And if you like this video, go make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more just come out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.